Hello, future Lancers, and congratulations on your acceptance to the University of Windsor. My name is Dr. Malstava, and I am the undergraduate program chair in the Department of Political Science. So if you have any questions about the program requirements and the courses you need to take next year, feel free to contact me. My contact information is available on the website. Hello, future Lancers, and congratulations on your acceptance to the University of Windsor. My name is Dr. Malstava, and I am the program chair, undergraduate program chair in the Department of Political Science. We are very excited for you to begin your journey at U Windsor and would like to show you what your full term first year will look like. As you are learning more of what is required for your accepted program, it is important to understand which courses will be essential in completing your degree. Required courses allow students to gain necessary information and create a fundamental base that will allow them to take further specialized courses in future years. Even though there are required courses for each program, students are also able to choose a certain number of electives. This allows students to expand their knowledge about other courses and subjects in different programs. This session will allow you to understand what courses you need to take in the first term in next academic year. I will also explain how to pick your electives, give you some tips for planning a successful schedule, and also tell you where you need to go if you have any questions and need more help. Let's start and look at what is required for IR majors. In the first semester, of your IR program, you will need to take the following courses. Polls 1000. This is an introductory course to Canadian government and politics. This course will focus on political culture, the constitution, federalism, the executive, parliament, public service, courts, political parties, interest groups, and elections. Depending on the course instructor, there will be three or two lecture hours and usually one tutorial per week. I would like to emphasize that all IR majors need to register in section one of polls 1000. So remember, Section 1 of Poll 1000. All IR majors will also need to take Poll 1600, which is an introductory course to international relations. This course offers an examination of competing perspectives on international relations and of such critical themes as power, security, war, imperialism, nationalism, interdependence, development and underdevelopment, human rights, environmental concerns, and the quest for a new world order. Again, depending on the, on the instructor, this course will have three or two lecture hours and usually one tutorial per week. Now, the third course that students need to take in the fall of 2021 is History 1230. This course offers an overview of the major events and movements during the first half of the short 20th century. The course will broadly explore the global impact of the World Wars, communism, 
fascism, colonialism, the Great Depression, and so on. So the geographical focus of the material will vary with the instructor. Depending on the instructor, the course will have three or two lecture hours and one tutorial per week. Now, all students majoring in international relations are required to take VAR 1500, which is Effective Writing 1. This is a foundational course aimed at developing effective writing skills for communicating ideas in academic and other contexts. Topics may include grammar, paragraph writing conventions, academic learning, and critical thinking. This is a hybrid course. A hybrid online course means that most course activity is done asynchronously online, but there are some required live online or face-to-face -face instructional activities, such as lectures, discussions, labs, or other in-person learning activities. Now, we also recommend that all IR majors take one social science, arts, or language, or science course in the fall term. To understand course option requirements, please review this website, which is listed on this slide. To understand what courses are allowed as one of your electives, you can take um, arts, for example, and all language courses can count for credits as arts and humanities courses. You can also take an English and creative writing course or a general course in FAS, which is usually has this abbreviation VART. You can also take a philosophy course, for example, or women and gender studies course. If you are interested in social sciences, you can take a course in communication, media, and film, economics, history, labor studies, psychology, sociology, or women's and gender studies. Finally, if you would like to take a course in science, you can take an introductory course in computer science, economics, environmental science, or women's and gender studies. To summarize, all international relations and development studies majors are expected to take the following courses in the fall term. Poll 1000, Poll 1600, History 1230, Guard 1500, and one social science, arts, language, or science course. So I also would like to draw your attention to program checklists that are available on the site of the Department of Political Science. I have a link here on this slide, and I invite you to explore and review the program checklists. I also advise that you regularly check your degree progress on UWINSIDE UWIN student when you begin um, studying in the full term. So please follow the program requirements. Always make sure you know what is required and plan for it. And if you have any questions, I am always here to help. Please remember that time management is one of the hardest things to learn in university, but also one of the most important ones. Therefore, when you begin your studies, check your course syllabi, make a calendar, and make time for school outside of class. Remember, if you need any help, there is lots of help in the department and across the university. For example, I am, as the undergraduate advisor, will always try to help you as much as I can to navigate into to understand your program requirements. We also have student mentors, and you will have a chance to meet them in Polls 1000, Section 1. 
a department of political science also offers writing help center. This will be useful when you will be working on your papers. We also have student mental health and accessibility support centers on campus. So please reach out if you need help. So please remember that we are here to help every faculty as academic advisors and staff that are happy to assist you. Please reach out to our staff if you require advice and assistance. You can also visit future at uwindsor.ca plan your program um, to help plan your courses for the upcoming semester and connect with an academic advisor for additional support. With that, I conclude this session. I wish you a relaxing, safe, and productive summer, and I look forward to meeting you all in the fall semester. Goodbye.